Hi, I'm John Mann from Man Made USA, and I'm here to show you how to install our 2000 NOS bridge on a PRS guitar. This one is a PRS SE Santana, and our bridge will fit right on, no modifications to your guitar. It's pretty easy to do, so just watch the video and follow along. Okay, so things you're going to need to do this installation is a new bridge from Manmade USA. This particular one is a 2000 NOS which will fit the PRS guitar. It's a new set of strings. I'm going to use tens on this guitar because I've already changed the nut on this guitar to a USA made PRS nut, which is the same nut you find on all their core model guitars. We're going to need a couple of tools. Um, this, the power driver is just optional. If you've got one, it's always handy, especially if you are able to use it comfortably. We're going to use needle nose pliers. We're going to use a set of cutting dikes. We're going to use a Phillips screwdriver and possibly two small screwdrivers. So, now I'm going to take the bridge out of the box and show you what comes with it. Okay, so here's what you get when you buy a bridge. Got your new bridge. This is a 2000 NOS. The original bridge that was on all the guitars. It's the Milcom casting. One piece bronze casting. Notice we're polishing the saddles now. All our bridges come with highly polished saddles. To get the arm out, you can either rip the box open or you can lift that flap up. Take your arm out. And inside you will find a hardware kit and another bag with some wrenches and instructions. So as you can see, our workbench is just going to be a table we're going to use a soft mat. You could use a tablecloth. I'm using my wife's yoga mat. That works really good. And a pillow. And that's all you really need to work on your guitar. So first thing I'm going to do is cut the strings. Okay. I'm going to take the arm out. So I've discovered that uh, with these SE bridges, the ball ends get stuck inside the block. Take yourself a screwdriver, poke it through the top, you can push that ball end loose, and now all your strings will come out nice and easy from the back. Okay, now that we've got the strings off, the next step is to flip your guitar over. In this case, we've got a back plate to take off. Now that you've got that off, you should have some springs attached to the guitar. And we just pull them up with the needle nose pliers. I'm going to put the original springs in our box so we don't mix them up with the new guitar. The kit comes with a claw. But we're not going to change the claw on this. Uh, that's a pretty straightforward thing to do. You would have to unsolder the ground to it and just undo the two screws and it would be good to go. Flip the guitar back over. Now your bridge is loose on the guitar. And we're going to take these mounting screws out.
simply lift the bridge out. This is your SE bridge. All right. Take your man-made bridge, put it in the slot. Get your hardware kit open. And in your hardware kit you will find everything you need. Uh, you're going to find your new springs, your claw, your claw mounting screws, and then the six mounting screws that you're going to need to install the bridge. You want to be sure to use the screws provided with my bridge and do not use the SE screws. Now, in this other bag, which has the instructions, which you should read, it's especially important if you're installing a bridge on a guitar that has not been drilled out for a PRS bridge. There is a particular there are two holes that have to be drilled. Uh, the pilot hole for the wood screw and another hole to fit the shank of the screw. If you don't do that to the correct depths, you will snap the heads of the screws off. Please pay attention to that. Okay, we have a larger Allen wrench in the kit, which is a 2.5 millimeter Allen wrench. You're going to use this as a feeler gauge. So now we're going to put the screws in. I'm just going to hand start them. Now I'm going to screw them down to... Okay, we're going to install these screws in. I'm going to kind of leave them high so that I can adjust them to the right depth with the 2.5 millimeter Allen wrench. Okay, this Allen wrench says right here, too small for you to see here, but it's going to say on one of these flat surfaces, 2.5 millimeter. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the flat sides of that thing as a feeler gauge. And you're going to crank down till the space between this is going to measure the space between the, the surface of the pocket and the underside of the wood screw. And it's just adjusting it till you feel it snug. Is that better? Do you want me to redo it? Mm -mm. So now that we've got the screw heads close, we're going to take our 2.5 millimeter Allen wrench and it says it right here on the surface of it. Too small for you to read I'm sure but it does say it. So you're going to use the flats of the, the wrench as a feeler gauge. It's going to measure the gap between the pocket surface and the underneath of the screw. And you're going to do it just till you feel it touching. And you'll find, like there, it just bit it, that it'll just grab hold of it, and that's the right height. You'll also see that if you've gone too far, the bridge will tip up. It'll kind of do this thing. You know, I'm going to exaggerate it, but it'll kind of, you'll see it lift a little bit. 
and then you know you've got it down too low. You'll feel it, it'll just have a tiny bit of drag and then you can back it up a smidgen. That's a technical engineering term by the way. I don't know if you can hear those little clicks as I pull it out. That's it. That's the tough part. Flip your guitar over. I'm going to take away the pillow here so the guitar lays flat. Now the new springs have a little kink in them which keeps them into the screw hole good. So I take a small spade screwdriver, straight slot screwdriver, and just put it on like that. I do both sides first. Both ends, I mean. In some cases, you may have to Tap down the spring into the block. And just lightly tap it. Make sure your guitar is on something padded so it doesn't damage the guitar. And then hook your springs onto the claw. There you go. I'm not going to put the cover plate on yet because we're going to restring the guitar and make sure that the height is correct. It should be, but we want to be sure. So we're down to our last string, and pretty soon we'll be ready to adjust the saddles and the intonation. Strength to intonate, bring it up the tune. Perfect. Okay, this guitar is set. Um, the only thing you might have to do is put your arm in, and if, if it's a little loose for you, you could tighten it up with the same Allen wrench right back here, that little set screw, and you just snug it till you feel it's good. I try to make them so that they're nice and snug, but yet you can still get them in and out. This guitar is all set. Handmade bridge. New claw. New springs. We just have to put the cover plate on, which we should be able to handle. The only final check that you really need to do is when you wiggle that arm, it shouldn't click or pop or jump. It should be buttery smooth. There you go. Thanks.